Hi everybody, Sylvia Hennifer here from Recycled Homemade, Tid Homemade Tidbits and I'm out on my nature walk and I'm looking for rose hips today. So I don't know if you can see but these are probably last year's rose hips and I'm just going to turn the camera around and you can see what I'm looking for and then I'll tell you later on why. Okay, so just bear with me. Okay, so this is my trail. Look how gorgeous, hey? God, everybody should be out walking in the nature and walking on trails. Because come winter, it's pretty chilly. So these are the rose bushes that are wild. Okay, take a quick, a good look at the leaf, okay? So jagged edges, you can see the vines going through. And on the other side, it kind of, the, the vines or the lines kind of protrude, okay? So rough edge and the leaf, okay? And here are the rose hips. So this is this year's, it's August, and they're just starting to turn red. So they are actually green when the flower comes off. I don't see any green ones. Okay, but these are the red hips, rose hips that I'm looking for, but I want them to be dry. Okay, so as we move along, there's all kinds. If there's one rose bush, there's 20. Okay, and I am looking for some dried rose hips and that is what they look like okay so they're they're dried and they are ready to be picked so there's quite a few around here there's some more there there I'll take them home I'll wash them I'll redraw I will redry them and then I'll Put them in some jars and we'll make like a rose hip tea or a syrup. Um, rose hips in this stage are high in vitamin C. They have more vitamin C than an apple. Okay, so I'm out today picking some rose hips and we will be ready for winter with all the vitamin C.